So originally I said I would do a Q&A at every like 100 subscriber milestone. <laughs> Last time I did that was 600 subscribers. Um, I hit 500 subscribers and I put a video out uh, asking you to send me questions for a Q&A. So I'm a little late on the 700 subscriber one, but welcome to the 700 subscriber Q&A, everybody. This is not gonna work with Rosie. Looks like it's gonna be more about me, but that works. Uh, first off, this kind of fits right here. Have you ever been afraid of one of your pets? I mean, for like a week, it's hard not to be afraid of this when she's like this and and that. So it's kind of like, what have I done? But uh, it's it's cool now. She's fine. Franklin's kind of scary because his bite's the worst. How long does it take to clean up after all your pets? Well, I have someone that comes and helps me uh, 12 hours a week, and we still only get about two thirds of the stuff done. So a lot of time. But we're also working on a lot of upgrades and deep cleanings and stuff like that. So it's a lot of hours, a lot of days a week. I don't want to think about it. How do you see yourself in 10 to 20 years? Uh, in a Tesla with a lot of cats. <laughs> uh, less than, I don't know, 20 years, I have no idea. Well, my realistic answer is hopefully I would like to start more companies and stuff, so that would be fun. I like how all you can see is just her tail now. If one of your pets were an endangered species, would you donate them to repopulation? That's actually kind of hard. Most of them, I mean, probably, I guess. Why can't I just repopulate? Could I just breed them myself? Does that count? Like if I got, so let's say red ear sliders, the like last species that would go extinct if they were, like, could I just get a female myself and help, or would I have to donate them? I don't know, I guess if I can see him and I, like, know which one is him, then, yeah, that's fine. He's not, like, locked away in a chamber where I can't ever visit him. Would you ever do a collab with one YouTuber? Who would you choose? Uh, PewDiePie and Ben Shapiro together. This is epic. Hey, this is epic. This is epic. I collabs scare me. I'd be, like, so uncomfortable, because I'm way better just talking to a block of metal than another person. <laughs> That's, that's kind of my genuine answer though, like, or the report of the week. Oh, I love food reviews. Uh, we could do a food review together, like collab on some Starbucks and stuff. Wow. That's, I was, was I supposed to say a reptile channel? <laughs> Too late. That's the most difficult thing about keeping reptiles, uh, your animals in general. Honestly, just all the opinions. It's like, I'll be satisfied doing something. And I'm like, yeah, everything's going well. And then all of a sudden I just get like two dozen opinions thrown at me that all disagree and they're all like, if you don't do this, then your animal's gonna die. So I've learned to like deal with it, like take in constructive criticism carefully, consider it, don't immediately take the advice. Does that even count? That's not even related to caring for them. Overall, the hardest thing is just the consistency because no matter how you're feeling, whether you're like gone or sick or dead or whatever, they, they don't care. They just want their food and don't want to sleep in their poop, so. Would you ever be interested in breeding? Well, we kind of have one project going right now uh, with carpa pythons. If you saw our recent vlog, I guess it was in one of them. We got a breeding pair. They've been copulating and we'll give updates soon. Just don't get your hopes up because this is our first time, but hopefully all goes well. And after that, it would be cool to breed some other uh, more unique species along with maybe some more common ones. Because if you didn't know, uh, we sell reptiles through emeraldscales.com. We haven't actually sold anything that we've personally bred yet. So that's the goal eventually is have a mix of breeding and rescuing and rehoming. So we got everything going. Do you have a breed of dragon? If so, what kind? I have a fancy one. <laughs> just say no fancy isn't a morph. That's just what Petco and PetSmart call them when they don't know what they are. Well, I don't personally have one, but speaking of emerald scales, we have a male right now. I don't want to get him out because he's all the way. <laughs> Rosie just knocked something off the reptile thing. It wasn't an enclosure. I think it was just a bottle alone. I can't find it though. What was the question? Yeah, so this one, he's just a normal. He's available on the site. I really like him, but I'm not keeping him. So if you want him, you can you can buy him. <laughs> but I've never personally owned a bearded dragon for myself. I don't know why. It's I'm just like, I'm the king of like owning very common species, but I've never kept a beardy. Uh, do you have any pets you kind of regret getting? Funny you say that. I have a video coming soon. <laughs> well, you saw a video called, Do I Regret Getting My Savannah Monitor? And my answer was like, mostly no, but it's not what I expected. And then the more I talk about it, I'm like, well, I don't know, kind of. And now I'm setting up a vet appointment and she still hates me and her enclosure's kind of falling apart. I'll save that for, for the future. Uh, probably like next week in a video. <laughs> Short answer is kinda, I mean, mm. If I knew exactly what was coming, would I have gotten the monitor again? Nope. <laughs> but like, now she's here and I'm dealing with her. She's, I mean, there's still fun aspects to her. It's not all negative, but yeah, that's interesting. Will you make a video on how to sex all your reptiles? Probably not. Why did I even answer that question? <laughs> Would you consider getting into venomous or poisonous snakes or amphibians? No. 
I'll like let the venomous people deal with the venomous stuff. Uh, I don't. It doesn't really appeal to me. The most venomous thing I'd like to keep is like maybe a copperhead, just because they're native here. They could be cool for like different educational stuff, and I I don't see the thrill personally in like handling super venomous stuff. I'm I'm good. Technically, my American toad is poisonous, but like barely. It's like if you push your little sacs, some poison will come out, and it's not even really poison. It can't kill a human or anything. It'll like make your dog's mouth foam up, but that's about it. So. I'll stick to my foamy toad. That's good. If Petco or PetSmart wanted to sponsor me, would I accept it? No. <laughs> That's a very easy answer. No. It might just sound like, oh, you're just saying that, but when you see that check for $10,000, you're gonna do it. I I've already, I decline lots of different partnerships and sponsorships when I don't really know the product or don't like it. They're usually very small things. Uh, no, not even, I wouldn't do Chewy either, because Chewy's owned by PetSmart. What's the next big project? Well, speaking of not preparing in advance, I genuinely have no idea. <laughs> Like, I just did the box turtle. I was like, yeah, let's do the box turtle. I don't, I, I have no idea. Let me just pick right now. I was thinking maybe Shadow, because this is really boring. She might be cool in like a 55 gallon, because she's pretty active, but. Where do reptiles' names come from? Uh, Sunny, Gobi, and Goldie are based on the colors, because Gobi is a desert. Sunny is like a sunset, and Goldie is kind of golden color. Wooby Woo, Bonnabelle, Betty, Franklin and Harriet are cartoons. And then there's just like Shadow and Smokey, I don't know. I've only come up with about half the names of my animals. Usually people suggest the others. But now I'm just on an Adventure Time streak. Do you play video games? Uh, what's your favorite? Right now I'm not really giving myself the time to play any, but uh, Overwatch, Rainbow Six, PUBG, what? Stardew Valley, Hearthstone I started playing a little bit of. It's mostly just Overwatch and that's about it. <laughs> no, I don't play Fortnite though, stop asking me. Do you watch PewDiePie? I mean, of course, who doesn't? He's generally my favorite person. But I mean, people pick up the little things I do that I just steal from PewDiePie, and how do you not love him? If you could keep one species of animal for the rest of your life, which would it be and why? I'm guessing you mean only one species, and that would be house cats. <laughs> That's not even a joke. I mean, I'm not getting rid of the reptiles, but if I'm required to, I'm just keeping the cats. Have you ever wanted to open a zoo or reptile shop? I have in the past. I think lots of people have that desire. Reptile shop, honestly, like, E-commerce is the new thing. I love e-commerce. I already run two e-commerce shops. It would be really fun though to have an actual physical space. I wouldn't want to have to rely on retail for that space, but if it's like funded by another company just to have a fun space for something, then that'd be cool. But I don't know if I'm actually, actually ever gonna do it. <laughs> is there a herp that you dislike? <laughs> yes, I don't want to answer this. People are gonna get angry. Crested geckos. <laughs> It's not like I had like a bad experience with them, it's just I've cared for maybe say, five or six now. They seem very uninteresting to me personally. I, I see that there's many appeals to it, but I don't have any plans on actually keeping one for myself. They just don't stand out. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's probably the most like controversial thing I've said this entire video, but you asked. You plan on continuing to post your channel when you go into college and get a job? I didn't even finish high school. Uh, and this is my job. <laughs> uh, I do plan on starting more stuff in the future so I don't just rely on very few revenue streams. Uh, as you should know, you should never rely on AdSense. Thankfully, if Google AdSense just disappeared and I had no ads on videos, I'd still be just fine um, because of all the other streams, but I'm still don't, I still don't, I want more streams. So I want more, more things to dabble in, but I'm not going to college. Do you think you will ever get another species of monitor? Not in this house, probably. I don't. I genuinely don't have the space right now. You can only see half the room. I would show you the other half, but it's a complete mess, so I'll show you that in the next video with the monitor and what's happening with her. Speaking of monitors. Uh, so once I have the space, I would love species, but they have to be captive bred, and they have to not be from Craigslist, because <laughs> I can't be dealing with these wild-caught problems. Which, if you didn't know Bonnabelle, my other one, she's wild-caught, like all Savannah monitors, basically and from Craigslist. I didn't want to like fund a store getting wild cut animals, but the fact that she's from Craigslist just kind of made it worse because I didn't know what was happening in her past. In an alternate universe, do you think Sunny keeps you on a dick and other humans who he cares for but needs help because he has no arms? I think I believe in a multiverse, so it's possible. What was your biggest challenge when you first got into reptile keeping, mainly Sunny or anyone else? I did a whole video on that, so I won't answer that here. Who do you look up to in the reptile community? I genuinely don't watch a single reptile YouTuber. I don't know why. I like, I make the videos myself, but I'm too busy watching dumb PewDiePie and Pyrocynical and 
report of the week and and like all those weird channels so i don't it's not like i have anything against any of them except for just, mm -hmm. also don't forget to vote and I, I just did for the first time do you have any other hobbies such as video games reading collecting anything audiobooks or ventriloquism uh games yes i just listed them earlier reading i like audiobooks wait should i do an audible plug this is perfect i i signed up to be an audible affiliate and i got it so if you want a free audiobook I'll leave some suggested ones down below, and I get $5 when you sign up for a trial. <laughs> I'm so excited, I've never plugged Audible before. I also do stuff like photography, and I used to do other video stuff, but now I'm too busy making videos on reptiles. Also biking, I like biking, but it's been a while since I did it, and I need to do it soon because it's getting cold. What's your electricity bill? I'm actually calculating this out for a video, and it's scaring me, because I'm not gonna tell you the family's electricity bill, but I've been calculating how much each enclosure costs per year, and just Franklin's alone, costs 90 something dollars a year to filter and heat and that's scaring me if you didn't have your youtube channel what do you think you'd be doing i think i would have focused way more on photography because i was into photography way before video and i used to i was like starting a portfolio i had some instagrams going and stuff like that so i think i would have pursued that more but uh video took the cake so i don't know what a pack uh, Loris. <laughs> I do need to go to college. What are some reptiles or amphibians you would never want to own? Uh, anything that can like, is extremely venomous. Uh, any super large snake, if I have to do it myself, like I'd love to have like, some huge constrictors or something, or like, really big pythons, but I think Rosie's the biggest I can handle by myself probably. I could probably go a little bigger, but other than that I would need like, full-time help. And <laughs> crested geckos. <laughs> I'm sorry crested geckos. I don't know why we just are not compatible. Ah, uh, this one's good. Here's some random questions completely unrelated to your typical Q&A ones. Do you play video games? I already covered that. Do you see yourself having kids in the future? What would you name them? I have no idea. I've really never thought about that. What state would you like to settle in in the future? I have thought about this, but I also have no idea. Like, North Carolina's... I don't want to stay in Durham. It's, it's kind of boring here. So maybe further in North Carolina, but I'd, I'd have to explore more places because I really haven't traveled that much. But right off the top of my head, a random state. What's a random state I'd like to move to? Washington state seems kind of cool, but that's really far. I wouldn't actually move there. I just think Washington's cool. That's so random, I don't know why. You're always just gonna say it's because I can smoke weed there. And then right after that, where would you like to go on vacation in the future? Uh, I've never traveled internationally, so basically any country. I'm not picky. I'd love to go to, like, Japan, South Korea, New Zealand. All the, like, classic places. Not to do touristy stuff, but, like, 10% touristy stuff, 90% just, like, living there for a month would be kind of cool. I don't know how you do that with all these animals. And name one thing on your bucket list. Open, like, a forever home for cats. That'll be kind of fun. I need a lot of money for that. Okay, speed round. Uh, thoughts on expanding, utilizing other people, possibly me to join the team. I'd love to hire more in the future, so maybe. Do you have another job? No. What's your living situation like? Uh, still live with parents. On honestly, I'd probably get an office before a house at this point, because I just need the space. Animal you're most fascinated about? Prairie dogs. Creatures that scare you? Uh, centipedes. Kind of millipedes. Spiders with really long legs. Tapeworm. Pretty much any parasite. R roaches scare me a little bit. Mice are really cute, but like, they freak me out when I try and hold them, because they're so fast and I don't know I, I mean I kind of like all those I, not tapeworm I don't oh horseflies I don't like a lot of little buggers but I respect pretty much all of them except for horseflies and tapeworm go away please do you think of breeding your own mice um I would get attached to all of them and have a family of mice who do you mean in overwatch and or siege may diva and widow aka I'm the like person that everybody hates on the team and siege probably ash and doc and last question potato or potato I have no idea what that means Okay, thanks for watching this Q&A. That was a lot of questions, I didn't even answer them all, but let me know if you want more of these. Uh, sorry for not liking Festa Geckos. Goodbye.